Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast. All right, we only got two more questions, my man. We're wrapping up. Number eight, any additional advice that you would give the audience, right? This is this show is um, all hosted by millionaires for those typically that are not, that are on their journey to creating a net worth in excess of 1 million. So most of the people listening, in fact, 16 out of 17 are on the journey, Chris. What advice would you give these individuals to be able to get there quicker, more efficiently, more effectively, so on and so forth? I'm going to answer your question, but I'm going to answer a little bit differently what comes up for me right now. Please. The question or the thing that I would tell anyone listening, if I were going to, based on my journey and my story and my experience, to go back and to really be able to answer the question, why? Why do you want to get to the levels of money that you do? Why are you pushing yourself to achieve to a certain level? So my deal is not cautious, being cautious about people getting there. My concern is about helping people listening to get there safely. Because if we are functioning, uh, and I believe that the core trauma that exists in all of us, a core sentence or belief that's driving us as high achievers, uh, the root of it is some form of a belief system that we picked up in childhood that I'm not enough. And mine was, I'm inadequate. And so that sense of inadequacy drove me to get to where I needed to or wanted to at an unhealthy pace and speed because I was operating out of a low vibrational frequency of fear and shame and guilt and inadequacy. And David, we've talked about this. If it's driven from inadequacy and we get there, we don't feel adequate of having it. So we sabotage it and we create a roller coaster ride. And it just, it's a rinse repeat. We just keep living out our trauma throughout our life. This is why the behaviors happen. If someone's listening to answer a question to get there, you know, faster, more efficiently, you know, sometimes necessarily faster is not better. Uh, efficiently, I agree with, but I might define efficiently in the sense of more around safety and getting and arriving there in a healthy way. But I really believe that if you're operating from a higher vibrational frequency of love, and gratitude and peace and you're waking up every day doing what you do because you love it not because you need to prove to yourself to your family to your friends from people you don't even like that you're enough it is a completely different wealth building journey so if i were to go back and tell you everything that i learned and what cost me everything it was an unconscious understanding that my entire behavioral system was being driven by a sense of inadequacy. Mm. And it cost me. And when we f operate from inadequacy, we will sacrifice our families, our health, our well-being, our sleep, all of it. And that just leads to more problems because then we numb, suppress, and self-medicate to deal with all the fucking problems that are coming up within us because we're not taking care of ourselves. And then everything implodes. What did it cost you? To me, it cost me my marriage. Uh, it cost me uh, my finances in the sense of everything that I built. Um, for those that know my story and you do as Dave, it actually cost me my sanity. I literally, because having anxiety attacks, took a prescription drug, had an adverse effect and ended up hospitalized and basically in a temporary, I say temporary, seven months, but it was temporary state of insanity, literally loss of what did it cost me? cost me fucking everything. Yeah. Now I'm grateful for it. It was an absolute gift. Best gift I ever could have got. It was an expedited dark night of the soul. I appreciate what I learned. But again, I always go back to, I tell this so that those who are listening might make the choice to get there by choice rather than to wait for catastrophe or divine intervention. Because that's a much harder way to learn. You don't have to go through what I did. Fucking love that answer, man. Embrace the journey. Don't be in a hurry. I love that, man. Amazing. Chris.